Hey guys, welcome back to Single Black Vegan. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Like and share, I'd really appreciate it. So today I just want to come on and quickly say that yes, 2020 has not been the perfect year, right? It has not. We have suffered um, things like loss and division and um, not knowing what's gonna happen, not knowing if we're gonna be able to pay our bills. Um, it's been a lot going on. It really, really has. And that's what I'm hearing a lot from a lot of family friends who are just like, Ooh, I hate this year, go away, by 2020. Uh, 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 uh. All those things. And there definitely was a lot of things that happened that I can't say that I was super excited about, but it wasn't 100% all bad, right? wasn't hundred percent all bad and I think that if we take some time before the end of the year we have what like a week or so left and find some things that you're grateful for that happened to you in 2020 you may not be able to come up with 50 things or 20 things or 10 things but you I would say at least one thing there's got to be at least one thing that you can say 2020 did for you that was joyful and that you're grateful for I think that when we are grateful for things those things continue to happen. You know, it's about having an attitude of gratitude. Message. I hate to be cliche, but I mean, it's the truth. So I think that if we take some time, you know, find some paper, find your favorite pen like me. I actually make this pen myself. Just jot down some things that you are grateful for, for 2020. Yeah, that's all I really want to say is make you a dear 2020 letter. Dear 2020, thank you so much for, and fill in the blank. Thanks again for watching and subscribing and liking and sharing. I hope you guys have a great, fabulous rest of your 2020. See you guys next year. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.